Hi, I'm uh, Simon Gibbs. Um, I'm the head of sales at Pulse Cinemas. We look after the projects division of, of Pulse and Envision. I'm Dave Williams from Global AV Sales and I look after the international sales for Crix Residential Loudspeaker Systems from Australia. I'm Mike Beatty. i um, had the business for 22 years now. We believed when we started Pulse Cinemas all those years ago that uh, we wanted to have a facility it was just breathtaking that our dealers could come along to, that our dealers could bring their clients along to, that would really inspire. So we thought to encourage dealers to really understand what the ultimate in cinema can be like. We're sitting today in the Pulse Cinema Crix and Trinov demonstration room, which is equipped with the uh, Crix Theatrics loudspeakers across the front with Hyperphonics 45 surrounds and Atmos speakers. And we also have uh, the waveforming set up with Trinov where we're actually running the Cyclonics 18s, four in the front and four in the rear to uh, exact that beautiful waveforming type deep bass. All round, pretty impressive room to be honest after sitting in it a few times. In our Pulse Cinemas demo uh, facility, it was never designed from the start as a, as a waveforming room. In fact, it, Dolby Atmos wasn't even available when this room was designed. So one issue that we've had, always had, is low ceiling. And obviously it affects multiple areas, but with obviously the waveforming and, and just the um, amount of subs that we would like her to have, have, have got in the room. We would sort of have dealers in and, uh, and clients in and consciously or not, we're sort of encouraging people to sit at the back um, to hear uh, the cinema at its best. And now we're very relaxed. People come in and uh, we encourage them to sit wherever they like. The first thing I noticed in the room after the upgrade was the bass performance was just off the scale and, and so controlled. I just always felt like it lacked. And when you moved around the room, there was definitely uh, an issue with um, hotspots. What was just incredible um, when I came in was moving from back to front and, and, and across to the side walls. There didn't seem to be much of a difference. And wherever I was, um, the bass performance was off the scale. Yeah, the optimization is a big thing. And as I say, the biggest thing for me was that the noise floor allowed a, a lot more detail in the higher end, mids to highs, which again, automatically creates kind of a, a bigger ceiling level, if you like, an artificial ceiling level. So it really kind of raises that. So absolutely, you, you become more immersed, definitely in the, um, in the movies uh, because of that. We're doing some measurements uh, before and after or turned waveforming off and on. And we found, I think there's about a 20 dB difference, uh, seat to seat consistency with waveforming off versus two dB with waveforming on, which is just insane. It's, it's all very, very clean, very clean bass, which allows you to hear a lot more detail. The beauty of it is that with waveforming, it's not just one solution. There's multiple solutions within that waveforming process. And so you really can sort of really sort of minimize all those room modes, um, the null points and the likes. So the performance just, everything just tightens up. It just takes it all to another level. Um, and when you've got big subwoofers like we do, having that processing power just gives you so much more flexibility. And I guess makes that sort of the room design just that little bit simpler. Placement, of course, becomes a little bit less critical in some ways uh, because we can do so much more with the DSP. I think it's been an infatuation in our industry um, that we need to um, buy a product and then a couple of years later, we need to dump it and start again. What Trinoff have brought to the market is a product that was wonderful 10 years ago and is still wonderful now because of the upgradability. The serial number of the product that we have in our current rack powering this system is serial number 82, um, which is just an, an amazing fact um, when you consider the amount that the company has sold since then. And even more amazing that the product is so much better um, than it was um, when we first had it installed here. With the Trinov, the, the number one for me is just the, the processing power um, that, it, that it offers, the ability to really 
dial in, really get underneath the skin, just really the level of um, configuration that you can do is, is by far you know, the, the greatest out of all. So for me, that's been the number one um, element of that, for sure. From a manufacturer's point of view, when you've, you're creating a loudspeaker, obviously you want to try and create the most uh, you know, accurate and low distortion um, loudspeaker that you can. But when it comes to the room itself, there's only so much you can do with room acoustics before you really need to step into that DSP. And then when you work with a, a brand like Trinov, just the amount of flexibility it gives you, that you can do almost anything with your loudspeakers. It's not just time alignment anymore, there's just so much more to it that Trinov just takes it to that next level again where you really can almost perfect a room.